So for a millennia now, mankind has wondered when is GTA 6 gonna come out? Where is the game? Is it gonna come out when we're dead? Is it gonna come out when I have five kids and a wife and a, with a dead body? It, when is it gonna come out, right? They dropped the trailer. They ended up dropping the trailer soon after people were like is it gonna go woke please don't make gta 6 woke uh, everybody's kind of worried about it then we had a lot of controversies coming out we had journalists a lot of the journalists started coming out and started saying that this game needs to be canceled this game needs to censor the burnas there are just so much get so much burnas in the game that it needs to be banned yeah we had a hundred thousand plus tweets in the same week when gta 6 comes uh, GTA 6 trailer was dropped of asking for censoring the game. We talked about it. A lot of channels covered that part on the YouTube. Yeah, the journalists were actually mad. Right now, we have this video about why GTA 6 is already controversial. We're gonna talk about it. Like this video if you don't want GTA 6 being censored. Dislike the video if you want it censored. You want it woke. And you want, most importantly, you want the Lucia Bruna getting nerfed out, guys. Uh, I wanna know where you guys at. Let's be Roll real. It. Every time Rockstar drops Wait a hint it. about a new GTA, the internet goes nuts. But yeah. with GTA 6, it feels like everyone's got something to say before we've even seen much of the game. From its very start, the GTA series has been a magnet for debates, protests, and headlines, often yeah, blurring the lines between virtual crime and real-world outrage. Whether it's the intense action, the sharp jabs at pop culture, or just the thrill of playing the bad guy, yeah. GTA knows how to make waves. And yeah. today I want to talk about why GTA 6 is already controversial, even though- Yeah, it, it is. Even though it's not even out yet, it's absolutely insane. And I want to show you th this part, okay? This uh, guy's clench your butt cheeks for this one, okay? Stop rolling your fat doobies! Faster your seatbelts, boys! Roll this! Another tick. reason why GTA 6 is stirring up controversy even before its release circles back to how the game's first trailer seems to have poked the bear one too many times. After the trailer dropped, it wasn't just the Florida Joker who was up in that arms. There were quite well, yeah. a few people who felt that the game parodied them a little too closely and started. Okay, she says that all I want is 200k and i will go away i want to be strong i want to be independent i want to get me a bbl what's so wrong with me getting a bbl she doesn't even it doesn't even look like you she doesn't even look like you what are we talking about and obviously the florida joker looks like him but florida joker was asking like five million Bruh. five million and the funniest thing here is that man actually we, I, I believe if i'm not mistaken in the game the joker had like that that the purple hair right this guy didn't have purple hair he saw the trailer and then it ended up getting like purple hair after Bruh. and started asking five million dollars and you want to know what happened after rockstar didn't respond <laughs> They didn't, they didn't respond. And my guy keep on asking about 5 million. Okay, GTA, GTA. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. So you got so many people like that asking for asking for money and it's just crazy really. throwing around threats of lawsuits against rockstar the trailer is jam-packed with references that mirror real life events and personalities making it clear that rockstar is sticking to its guns with the satirical style they're known for yeah. now yeah, yeah, most yeah. of these threats likely won't go anywhere it's obvious that a lot of these claims are probably just attempts to grab some cash from a big name like rockstar but they're not the type to be caught off guard the studio has a fortress of legal defense ready for just these Wait kinds of situations they've got got a whole team of lawyers who make sure yeah. everything they put in their games is well within the bounds of the law. They're seasoned veterans when it comes to handling controversy. Yeah, bro, like they're making more money than God right now, dog. So obviously, and nobody has won necessarily um, uh, that I'm aware of. Somebody also made a meme of an alligator, you know, be because we seen an alligator in the trailer just walking around the house. Somebody actually took a picture of a real alligator, slapped it with the trailer and put it GTA, GTA. We got to talk. Where's my money at GTA? It's like the alligator talking that meme was absolutely hilarious so people were doing that but uh what about like people asking not people but journalists the journalists right asking for controversy and legal and challenges the censorship. parodies in gta are crafted carefully to avoid crossing legal lines while still delivering the biting satire the series is famous for another reason that's got gta 6 catching heat even before its release is the looming shadow of jack thompson and his band of what? supporters thompson is a former attorney famously disbarred for misconduct who's made a career out of campaigning against what he sees as obscenity and violence in media especially video games like the grand theft auto series his legacy of legal battles against gaming companies for allegedly inciting violence violence is long and storied. One of Thompson's earliest major legal challenges against GTA occurred after the 2003 incident involving two teenage stepbrothers in Tennessee who were charged with reckless homicide. Thompson Damn. filed a $246 million lawsuit what? against Rockstar, the public. <laughs> 
246 million dollars? You crazy? Yo, can a brother get two pennies or something like that, bro? Like, Bruh. I'm just asking for two pennies, man. Where are my two pennies at, though? Rockstar, Rockstar, GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. Where are my two pennies at? I want my two pennies right Publisher now, Publisher Take-Two Interactive and the retailers that sold the game, arguing that GTA 3 had inspired the teenagers' violent actions. However, <gasps> this case quickly dissolved when the plaintiffs filed a notice of voluntary dismissal and the lawsuit Bruh. was closed. In Bruh. 2005, Thompson again attempted to link GTA to real-world violence in the case of Devin Moore a teenager yeah. in Alabama who killed two police officers and a dispatcher. Thompson represented the families of the victims and tried to sue Sony, Take-Two, and Walmart, among others, for promoting violence through GTA. Besides going head-to-head -head with Rockstar in the courts, Jack Thompson has also been really vocal about pushing for tighter rules on how video games, especially violent yeah. ones like GTA, are sold. And, and this is just one guy, guys. The, the, the week that trailer dropped, there were a hundred... Uh, I swear to God, man, hand on top of this bottle of water, a hundred thousand plus tweets, and so many people were liking tweets. So many people were saying that, yeah, bro, like we agree, like it, the game needs to censor and all that. I'm like, bro, it's an 18 plus game, it's a mature game, like, bro, like why? This is why there is a rampant stuff, rampant woke stuff happening in gaming, and, and the woke stuff that's coming into gaming, yeah, that's stunning, that's brave, that's perfectly fine according to them, but. Uh, bro, like this is insane. Just leave the games alone. Leave the games alone. And already a lot of people do believe that the game is gonna be woke. We done a bunch of videos on talking about why it will be and why it's not gonna be. Now it's gonna be woke though, but we're not sure how much woke is it gonna be. Is it gonna be woke to the point? Uh, I, I I wish I could say psych. I wish I could say psych Bruh. right now, but no psych, guys. It's uh, it, it's true. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be satire. It's gonna be a parody of real life. In real life, you got the woke stuff. So if they're gonna be parodying the way they used to in the past because that's the rock star we love we want real life simulator that's being parodied but fun game okay not necessarily like super realistic like people then gonna start hating it uh when be games become super realistic that's also not good you want to balance the realism and, and especially gta rockstar knows their audience so and it looks like that they're gonna do a good job, but still it's like, it's like kind of suspicious, right? Like a lot of people are believing that they're gonna emasculate Jason. <laughs> that Lucia is gonna be the city girl, the boss queen, strong, independent. Uh, okay, yeah, make her strong. We, we definitely want a strong female lead and we also want a strong male lead as well right having a female character it's not the problem although some people don't want to play and okay if you don't want to play as a female i get that that's your take right but for majority of the people it's not even about that majority of people just want like an actual female character being female and they don't want jason being manhandled by her or woman handle or man handle whatever you want to say uh people just want like good stories good games without like social engineering aspect of it without the woke stuff without like the politics it's just want a good game simple as that simple as that like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree He's been all about getting tougher laws in place to stop kids from buying M-rated games. Even though Thompson didn't win these legal fights, they definitely stirred up a lot of talk about whether video games like GTA influence bad behavior. He's been a big Brad. voice in cranking up the media spotlight on the GTA series. Going further... Yeah, how old were you when you played your first GTA game? I believe I was like 11 or 12 and I played San Andreas. <laughs> I was like... Da, 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 da. Of course, in-game, of course, in-game. But... A lot of people, a lot of kids have played this uh, uh, GTA back in the days. But I, I also do agree that San Andreas, with the, especially like graphics, now they have improved. Now it's like a bit different, but still, dog, like there is no correlation. There have been so many studies done that shows that games have no correlation or influence in terms of like uh, making somebody shoot in the game and then shoot in real life. Okay, somebody that want to do it, he or she is going to do it regardless though. Okay, and, and then it becomes an excuse that, yeah, bro, I saw it in, I, I, I saw it in GTA. And I did it in GTA, therefore I wanted to do in real life. Now, man, those are deranged human beings. Those are mental, mentally ill people that do that crap, okay? Majority of people, I remember playing it uh, as a kid. Now, if you're a parent and you're choosing for your child not to play a game that's M-rated, that's 18+, plus, fair. 
I feel like that if I'm a parent, I'm by the time I am, like, we're probably gonna have GTA. Uh, I think we're still gonna be stuck with GTA Bruh. 6. So I personally wouldn't let my kid personally play GTA 6 with all that board up, but that's my personal decision, okay? I'll probably let him play when he's a little bit older. Definitely not, like, when he's 8 years old or anything like that. I'll I'll hook his ass on Candy Crush. I'll hook his ass on PlayStation 1. Oh, Bruh. you know what? I'll let my, my, my little man play uh, GTA San Andreas like I started. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> he's gonna grow up. He's gonna... He, he's he's gonna understand, okay? Because he's gonna play PlayStation 2 while I'm playing like PlayStation 6. Bruh. While I'm playing PlayStation 7, I'm gonna get his ass on PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. Yeah, play those games and then progressively you get like better graphics. But if you're a parent asking, okay? Asking for censorship. I mean, come on now, bruh. Come on now. That's different. Just don't let your kids play the game, right? If that's where you at. Don't ask for censorship, right? Come on, bro. Like, that's that's two different things. Thoughts? Agree? Disagree? Let me know where you're at on that. Another huge reason GTA 6 has got a lot of people annoyed is the return to Vice City. You'd think everyone would be hyped about heading back to the neon-soaked streets and sandy beaches of this Miami-inspired playground, right? Well, not exactly. Despite hints and whispers over the years, like that big leak back in 2018 from The No on YouTube where they revealed the game is taking place in Vice City and featuring a female protagonist, this return has stirred up some mixed feelings. First off, the nostalgia factor is massive. Vice City isn't just any old place in the gaming world. It's a legendary setting from the 2002 yeah. game that captured the essence of the wild 80s. It's where a lot of players fell in love with the series, thanks to its vibrant atmosphere, killer soundtrack, yeah. and yeah. unforgettable yeah. characters. So, the idea of going back there <laughs> definitely has a lot of fans excited, but it also sets some pretty high- Oh man, I remember, man, playing GTA as a kid. Uh, you know, I, I would be playing just fine, but then whenever- uh, uh, my mama enters uh, the room it's like we would have these types of cutscene uh, started playing with that chick like shaky like booba and all that <laughs> i remember man good days man good times were the good times and then they were like oh what game did, did we just buy you this game did we just buy you this game they never really banned it um and, and they were quite chill about like me playing and as long as i was a good kid as long as i, I finish my uh, study school work and all that they were chill most parents are like that let's be real uh, uh but but yeah nowadays i i get it that graphics are different but still bro like you cannot ask for censoring the game just because like <laughs> you feel what i'm saying like you can't do that bruh come on bruh like leave gta 6 alone leave gta 6 alone we don't want this game getting censored bruh just one game just one game you know eve Stellar Blade, that game is getting censored. Yeah, we talked about it recently. There have been like multiple, I believe three, four things now getting censored. Initially, it was like the hard R situation. Those of you that know, you know, right? Then it was like the outfit. Now we got a lot more stuff getting censored as well. I'll link you that video in just a second, okay? expectations. On the flip side, there's a chunk of the community that's kind of skeptical. They're worried that revisiting Vice City won't bring anything new to the table. After yeah. all, part of what makes each yeah. GTA game special is its fresh take on new locales, packed with sharp satire and all kinds of hidden stuff to Holy discover. Crap. There's a fear that Rockstar might just play it safe, rehashing old glories instead of breaking new ground. I, I, I think the map will be big. I think if rocks i i know and i agree with you guys that rockstar is not the same like they used to in the past nobody stays the same bro like uh, we all evolve or devolve shout out to you for subscribing tommy appreciate you coming on and right as we get down to the main event real quick guys i want to say if you if you do have twitter if you do have instagram or whatever social media do you use i would definitely love to have you on instagram or twitter or on all uh, twitch as well this is where we're gonna live stream in the future as well guys all the links are in the description it's skizzlex that's the same handle i literally get back down to the content now boo boo Brown. And then there's the pressure of living up to the original Vice City, which is a beloved classic. How do you top that? And also, let's talk about the female protagonist in GTA ow, 6. Ow. It's another reason for controversy. Honestly, the only thing that kind of bugs me, just a bit and with a grain of salt, is how some people are making a huge deal out of it. There's this loud outcry from certain corners of the gaming world that we're finally getting a female lead in a GTA game. Sure, this is technically a first for the main entries in the series, since the original GTA 1's option to play as a female character character wasn't exactly a headliner feature, but let's get real here. In terms of gameplay, it probably won't change much at all. I mean, gaming has come a long way, and seeing a huge series like GTA throw in more diverse characters is definitely a good thing. <laughs> it's all about mixing things up and keeping the- Yeah, I, I believe this was made by Teaser Play. Yeah, Teaser Play. Yeah, it says the logo here. Yeah, this was made by Teaser. <laughs> 
<laughs> man, this is crazy, bro. Like, for a millennia, man, the, the fans have been doing these mods and all that to kind of like, yo, here you go, man. Here's your GTA 6 trailer. Here's your GTA 6 modded gameplay. Because Rockstar wasn't dropping it anytime soon. When is the trailer 2 gonna come out? A apparently, if you had leaks, I'll link you that video in just a second. But, yeah, female character, that's not the problem for majority. And I also don't have a problem with it. Some people are saying that realistically right like she's a female like uh, there are certain things that you can do with a female character and certain things that you cannot do so i understand that part i get it and i guess this is why rockstar i think it's gonna be the same like gta 5 where we were able to change characters so some missions are probably gonna be played as a duo some missions gonna require if they're not going woke this is how it's gonna be okay like they're gonna there are gonna be certain missions that lucia won't be able to do alone and there would be certain missions that she would need a man she would Bruh. need a man she needed and if she if it turns out that she's like i don't need a man i don't need a man i'm just too strong i'm too independent I'm dead little princess. Yeah, Rockstar has lost the plot. Or maybe that's how the character is going to act in the game. Then that would be different. Because it's it's a complicated topic, right? It's a complicated... Maybe they're going to be... Uh, Lucia is going to be an actual parody version of modern day Miami uh, woman, right? Because, yeah, in the West, bro, like, there's a whole lot of boss queen. Uh, no need, no man. Daddy's a little princess and all that. Strong, independent, need no man and all that. Maybe that's the type of personality she's going to have. And if that's the case, that's the case. But realistically, there will be some missions that we're going to do solo with Jason. Some missions, I guess Lucia is going to come in handy. And uh, uh, there would be, I, I can already imagine there are going to be certain scenarios, certain missions in the game that, you know, she's definitely going to pull up. And she's definitely going to help us uh, get down to the objective and do the objective and the, the, the mission. It's just going to be best suited uh, to do with her. Because there are certain things that men can do, certain things that are, there are that men cannot do, right? Why swear? So, okay we're different but yeah yeah but society want to make you believe that not nah, girl you go queen you can do everything that a man can do and you do not need a man if there's that type of energy in this one then it's gonna be annoying for sure but we all uh, will have to win and see story interesting. Besides, in GTA Online, you can already play as a woman, and honestly, apart from a bit of an odd moment when you use the services of roadside ladies, no one really makes a big deal out of it. So, while some fans are criticizing it, at the end of the day, it's just another twist in the GTA series. Next up on the list of... I, I think people that are criticizing it, generally speaking, they're just worried that Jason is gonna get manhandled and he's gonna get emasculated. I understand where those people are coming for, uh, from, but... We have to wait. It's we, yeah. You we don't have the answer. We cannot necessarily judge it this early. Controversies surrounding GTA 6 is how it's set to stir the pot in Florida. Once the game hits the shelves, it's likely that many Floridians might not take too kindly to the way their state is portrayed. Uh -oh. Rockstar uh -oh. has a knack for cranking up the satire and playing into stereotypes. And with the game returning to Vice City, a mirror of Miami, it's a safe bet they're going to lean into the wild and often absurd tales that have given rise to the Florida man phenomenon. This term made famous <laughs> yeah, by. Yeah. Countless bizarre and over-the-top news headlines that seem to start with Florida man. A Florida man undergoing kidney dialysis is upset that he can't bring a life-size cutout of President Trump, <laughs> President Trump for emotional support during his treatment. What? What? And captures the kind of quirky, sometimes downright crazy stories. Florida man threatens to kill man with kindness using machete named kindness. Bruh. Okay. Dog. <laughs> what the hell is that, bro? Like, yeah, I mean, Flor I'm excited for the game. I'm excited for the game. I really hope they don't go too woke, though. The game is gonna be woke in terms of, like I was saying, because in the real world, you got that woke crap happening too, especially here in the in the West. So on that level, if it's on that level, okay, makes sense. If it's a parody of that, just like how GTA games have always been parody parodied of real life in America in, in the past uh, decades and years, if it's like that, yeah, sure, then it's fine, right? But if it, if it goes all trouble, then it's gonna be sad, bro. Uh, and I would definitely love to see a whole lot of crap like that in the game because it happens in real life so they can parody all of that. It uses a machete named Kindness. Get on, that are dog. so outrageous, they're hard to believe. Floridians might find themselves cringing. Or Florida man accused of stealing gator from golf course, threw it around to teach it's a lesson. <laughs> or even getting angry as they see their home depicted in a humorous and exaggerated way. 
Oh, map shows impact of Florida spring break gores had in spreading corona across a uh, bumble club. Way. It could rub some locals the wrong way, especially if they feel it paints their community in an unfair Florida man arrested on DUI charge after driving scooter into Walmart shelves, police says. Light. The blend of sun-soaked beaches and swampland mayhem might make for great video game scenery, but it can also amplify stereotypes that residents are tired of hearing. Shout out to War Thunder again yeah, for Yeah, uh, guys! So, we ended up getting leaks about Trailer 2 and gameplay, and we had a ton of news. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, Stellar Blade. Like I was saying, I will link you that video. Yeah, this is that video. A bunch of stuff is getting censored from the game. Yay! Check out both of these videos, and guys, I'll see you right there.